Taking a look at today's interest rate markets, let's look at the 10-year note futures as they're realizing some selling pressure today. 10-year note futures lower for a second session, and today's price action has pushed the futures market to its lowest level in a week, currently priced at 114.24 intraday low of 114.17, so off the intraday lows, but still lower on the session. And when you look at some of the driving factors today, I think there's a couple things to focus on today. Number one, data points this morning highlighted by consumer confidence coming in better than what was anticipated. The consumer continues to hang in there, even with some of the disruptions. We'll see how that plays out in the coming months with the recent disruptions. But nonetheless, uh, consumer confidence coming in higher than what was anticipated. So that's one of the factors. Couple that with Fed speak yesterday and today, continuing to counter some of the expectations that's been, that have been priced into the market and indicating that they continue to see rates holding steady for the rest of the year, even though the market has not priced that in at this time. So a couple of dynamics, uh, I think, have impacted the, the Treasury markets today, and that's why we're realizing some selling pressure. Now, looking at the yields, 10-year yield is up four basis points today to 357 basis points. So uh, we continue to see that moving higher now for a second session. And when you look at the yield curve, we're seeing selling pressure pretty much across the entire curve, starting at the one year all the way out to the 30 year, where we're seeing uh, prices lower and yields higher across the board. So uh, overall, the last couple of days, uh, we are experiencing some further selling pressure, markets resetting uh, some expectations as we move towards the end of the quarter, as well as uh, some key data points highlighted by the PCE data on Friday.